Hello, my name is Sandy Raleigh. I'm a local SEO and pay-per-click marketing expert. Today I'm reviewing a website for Lake Forest Parkinson Support Group. Their website URL is saddlebackpd.org. Saddlebackpd.org is a local website for those in the Orange County, California area. Um, this is a resource group. Um, events, um, classes, workshops. This is a local website to help those who are struggling with Parkinson's disease, whether they're caregivers or loved ones, or individuals with early stage Parkinson's looking to get local connections and uh, community members of people who understand what they're going through and hopefully find resources to help them um, have a better life. Alright, so let's hop right in. So the website overall is beautiful. Uh, Alan, you did a fabulous job designing this website. There are a few things that I know that you guys can do to increase the amount of conversions or rankings that you're getting in Google. So Google uh, likes to look at a website that has relevant content related to the subject. So the subject is Parkinson's Support Group in Lake Forest, California, or Parkinson's Support Group in Orange County, California. So the way it would work with Google searches is someone would go to Google and they would search Parkinson's disease, right? And Google will look at the end user's IP address or their computer data and see that they're in the Orange County, California area or they're in Lake Forest, California. And then Google will try to pull up websites that have those keywords on them or websites that get updated from IP addresses that are in that city. There's a lot of other things that Google looks at, but that's it in a nutshell. But since I'm located in Reno, Nevada, I'm going to search for Parkinson's disease. Let's spell it right. I'm going to search for it in Lake Forest, California. Or CA. And what comes up are large authority websites because Parkinson's disease is a very competitive keyword. Unfortunately, there are hundreds of thousands of people around the country that are suffering from this debilitating disease. So, with that being said, the websites that are coming up, as you can see, are medicine.net, um, patch.com. This is a local, looks like a local, maybe it's Corona Del Mar, California, which is close, um, support group. And obviously, they're doing a lot of things right with their SEO, that's why they're ranking. Um, two places here. See this? And also, you have other Parkinson support groups that are ranking as well. Hospitals, fitness, and then if you look down here at the bottom, you'll recognize somebody familiar. This is the website for Saddleback Church. So, your support group host its events and classes and uh, support groups at the Saddleback Church campus. So what I would recommend for you to do is to associate your website with this website for Saddleback Church. So this is the support group page on the church website. So they're doing a lot of good things right, like you have click here and it goes to your Saddleback PD, which is fine, but I would add the keyword in here, Lake Forest Parkinson Support Group, and then make that the link to go to your website here. So right now you're using click here, which is fine. And so some SEO companies will say never, you know, like, so this is your keyword. They say, don't ever make this your link, this Parkinson support, you know, whatever. And there, that's true. If you do that a lot, you're going to get in trouble. But you want to have a, an amount of keywords that link to your website. So one or two here and there is going to be good for you. 
if you start doing all of your backlinks using your keywords in the backlink, then that's going to cause a problem. So on this church website, add Parkinson Support Group in Lake Forest, California, and make that the link to your website here. And what that will do is that will push this ranking right here up higher in the search results. Because we want you to be up here where they are. And that's one quick way that you can do that. Another thing that you want to look at is your Contact Us page. On your Contact Us page, you need to add, in this area here, the address to Saddleback Church. All right, so let's hit the back button here. So, saddleback.com to their church. So, a way to find that address that Google has, right? So I would search Saddleback Church when it comes up because there's a lot of searches for that every month and we'll talk about that in a minute. But you want to look on the right hand side here and this is the church. This is their, their official Google My Business listing. And what you want to do is you want to copy that address exactly as it is in Google and you want to add it somewhere here. Once you add that address, I'll do it here just so you can see it, you want to highlight it and make it a link that goes to the directions. So you copy this URL at the top, right? And you make this a link to that page right here. And that's going to connect this website with Saddleback's website. Have you ever heard that term, birds of the same feather flock together kind of thing that your mom used to tell you, hey, don't hang out with the bad kids at school, you get a bad reputation, blah, blah, blah. Same thing's true with Google. So if you want to hang out with the good kids that have good reputation, they're seen as an authority figure in the community, or their website is seen as an authority website, you want to link to it. You want to connect your website with their website. And you do that with sharing backlinks to each other, you do that by using their physical address on your website. It's extremely important. Okay, let's go back to the home page here. Okay, this website's beautiful. You did a fantastic job, but you can improve it. So these slides are gorgeous and they're very comforting because they're, they smoothly rotate into the next statement, which is a great idea, but they need to have a call to action. So Google looks at how many conversions your website gets once they send a person to your site. So say someone searches for Lake Forest, California, Parkinson support group, and you're at the bottom right now on the first page of Google. So if I click on that, that's a vote. If I click on that link in Google, that's a vote for you. Yes, rank them a little higher. But once I click on that link to go to your website, I need to do something that's counted as a conversion. That could be clicking the contact us page. It could be clicking directions. It could be filling out your contact form on this page here. It could be clicking on a phone number that is linked to make a phone call. So, in, you know, the contact form is fabulous. Keep it, but add your phone number. Even if it's the phone number to the church's website or the main church's site and it goes to a voicemail or secretary, what happens is when you have that link phone number on your page and someone clicks on it on a computer or especially a mobile device, it counts as a conversion. So that tells Google, yeah, we need to keep ranking saddlebackpd.org for the keyword Parkinson support group in Orange County. So you need to add that on there. Go back to the home page. So on this slideshow, you need to add a call to action, a button, like right next to this logo or replace this logo because you've already got it up here. Put a big button that says click here to see our next events or click here to call someone now. 
or click here to sign up for our email list. And I'm going to talk about email lists next because it's very 